हे गाइस वेलकम टू 3D स्टडीज एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन दिस अमेजिंग प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर द फ्री स्टडी ऑफ एवरी ऑफ द बॉडीज और व्हाट फॉर योर चिल्ड्रंस एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बिगिन विद द चैप्टर मैटर इन आवर सराउंडिंग एंड इट कंप्राइजेस योर केमिस्ट्री क्लास 9 बेसिकली so today we'll discuss some of the basic notes for the matters in our surroundings that are presented by 3d studies so are you guys ready and before going started if you are new at this platform i would like to introduce myself this is me adish rasto and you are on the platform of 3d studies where in this platform my prefix is to taught you and to tell you the best tips and tricks and with the mind map where we have discussed a lot of chapters we have solved many of the queries related other topics so if you are new on this channel so first of all your daily duty is to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so you can not miss any updates all right and also you can go to the toppers playlist and there is amazing magical tricks that are waiting for you all so first of all go and watch them if you want to be a topper and it's not new everybody wants to be anna yes so that's why i made it for you okay now come back to the topic and we are going to begin with the matter in our surrounding so let us see the notes for the matter in our surrounding and this notes are hand written and also this notes are comprises are your as your worksheet number 1 number 2 and number 3 and on this video we'll discuss worksheet 1 to 3 and the upcoming videos we'll discuss all the worksheets related to the chapters matter in our surrounding and even the your chemistry subject for class 9th so without wasting time let me begin with the notes now as in front of you as written matter in our surrounding so you are knowing that if you notice your surrounding what do you actually see you have seen many things like uh, you have seen many of the things like you you are having right now you are studying now so you are having the box you are having the pencils scale etc blah 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 but what are these things made up of you'll say ma'am these are the things made up of matter am i right yes you all are definitely right and you have listened that we humans are made up of five elements that are what air water sun air water and what more are there uh fire so these are the five elements which are made uh, which are which are which are making the human body all right and this is also made a human body is also made up of five basic metals five basic matters hope so you understand and the things that are surrounding yourself like the box like the bag like the pencil and dash and dash so that all things are made but these are the artificial matters which are made from a uh, very small particles am i right yes ma'am you are definitely right because we are getting all right so that is i was telling you that like solid you have seen the ice hope so you have seen many of the children have seen the ice as uh, somebody eat also ice creams and dash and dash so you are having the ice cubes as in in your home so you can see it's like a liquid or a gas no ma'am it's not a liquid or a gas it's simple a cuboidal shape or a cube shape which is a, a solid figure and that is only called your uh, solid particles we are having very many many, uh, many solid things like we are having our pencil boxes and we are having uh, many others uh, uh, mobile boxes and others are also there so that are the solid particles uh, which are they are made up of and that are simple called your solids now jump on the liquids now what are the liquids simple your uh, when we listen about the word liquid what comes to your mind firstly and one thing assume to your mind that is simply your water yes and many others if we talk about assigning the waters what could be more your uh co your uh, cold drinks is there tea is there coffee is there and blah 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 very things are there for the liquid particles so we are knowing what is particles and on the picture what is it 
I would want to comment in the comment section. Write the answer. What is this? Hope so you are thinking it is milk. Yes, you all are right. Write in the comment section. All right. Now, what is this? Gas. Hope so you know in gas. You all have uh, just putting the perfumes on you, na? And that is also a gas. Because uh, you are you think it? We just put the perfume, and why it just uh, goes around our surrounding, and when moms comes and why uh, she uh, she says that you are putting perfume, or your friends also ask who put a perfume today. Why this happens? Why only uh, you cannot smell the perfume? Why others can smell? Because it's a gas. When the gas is released, it just flows around the surrounding, and the gas very easily can go when to one place to another. All right, and the gas example. Not only the perfumes, many are there. That is your uh, kitchen related gas cylinder. What happens there when sometimes you open the cylinder and you forget to close it? Uh, what happens? You will sometime uh, after smell it that the uh, air of the gas is smelling very badly. So you'll say we have opened the gas. So why these things happens? Even the gas is having a very little point to just uh, go out, but furtherly it will go. Because gas is very, very small particle, and it can go from one place to another very, very easily. Hope so you understand the main difference between the uh, you are having the solids and you are having liquids and the gases. So you hope so understand all the difference between them. All right, now let's have the class ninth matter in our surrounding notes. So are you guys guys ready? All right. Let us begin. So these are my handwritten notes. So hope so you understand. Okay. Now, as in front of you written that will uh, whenever you start your notebook writing sessions or other related topics, you got an assignment. Don't forget to write the quotation. And if you are writing the quotation related to the subject or the chapter or the lesson or the topic you are just doing or not, that will give give you give the glory to your notebook or the assessment, and teacher will definitely be happy. All right. So let us begin with the quotation. What it's saying? So it's saying that the meeting of the two personality. All right. The meeting of the two personality is like the contact of the two chemical substances. If there is any reactions, both are transformed. So, hope you understand this little and this uh, good meaning quotation. When there is meeting of the two personality, so it just like the contact when we used to mix the two chemical reaction with each other. So, what it happens if the uh, reaction is uh, successful, it will uh, both will transformed to each other. And if it is not successful, it will just go out. So when the two personalities will just uh, meet it, that the result will definitely be the con contact of the two chemical substances, and it is the relation. It is the rela relating point with the chemistry. What chemistry actually do? Chemistry just meet to personality, or you can say just give to a uh, meaning of the two chemical substances, and if it is successful, that's great, and if it not successful, you have can you can learn from that. All right. Okay, now let's begin with the chapter number one. Matter in a surrounding worksheet number one. As I told you, we have this. We are going to discuss worksheet today. So let us begin with the worksheets. <clears throat> Now the first question that we have that is define matter. So when I was starting and we are having for the first slide about the matter in a surrounding chapter, you definitely have the problem that define matter. What is actually matter? But there, I was not discussing about the matter. I discussed that around the surrounding, what whatever the things are there present, is simply your matter. So you'll be confused, ma'am. Is what? Not, why not telling? Because here was the question for the matter. That why I just left over here. Let us begin with the solution for the define of the matter. Anything which occupies spaces and has mass is called the matter. Simple, easy, quite easy. Hope so you understand. Anything, anything means any of the thing. All right, and anything which occupy, what occupy space, whether you cannot think the occupying of the space only of the largest 
bodies i mean that if you are seeing your uh, surrounding you are having that you are seeing the boxes bags fans etc blah 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 very big big things but if you are talking about the very small pen or the pen that is also a matter don't beside these tiny particles or the matter because these small tiny particles are also occupying space and they have some kind of mass and that is why they are referred to as matter if you're having the very small pen you're having the very small pen that also required a suitable space for their equipment and it needs to have a great space and by that great space then only it can be occupied on their par place and that pin or a small particles definitely have any of the mass whether it's very 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 low or even though very large and very large you, your eyes contact from the very large particles are very good but if you are seeing the small particle you are you'll say somebody somebody says that it is what having the mass it's nothing having the mass it does not occupy space but the smallest and the most smallest thing can also occupy some space and have a great mass and that is referred to as your matter so don't forget that now let's coming to the second question define brownian motion and diffusion let us see what are the bromine brownian motions and the diffusion all right so this is very very easy don't you are saying the question and you will be see that ma'am we are afraid we are not understanding don't be there let us see the zigzag movement of the smallest particles suspended in a liquid simple when uh, you are you have seen you are having any liquid you are having this all right and in this there is some kind of liquid so in the liquid when uh, you throw any of the particle when you throw any of the smallest particle or the stone in the water what ha- what it happen it gives you the zigzag movement like this like this like this like this that movement of the very small particles which is suspended in the liquid we are talking about the right now about the water basically we are talking about the liquid but we are talking about the water zigzag movement but when the movement of the smallest particles come or happens in the liquid are simply called your brownian motion now the mixing of a substance with another substance due to the motion of the particles on their own is called diffusion simple when the uh, mixing of the substance when the substance mix with the another substance simple when the substance mix with the another substance here is a substance here is so when it mix to the another substance and due to this the particles motion have some of the uh, disturbance that is simple call your diffusion all right now let's see some of the main and basic characteristics of the particles of the matter i have written motion okay let us see what are the particles motion or uh, matter so there these are the following characteristics of the matter and that are let us see what are that all right so we have the first the particles of the matter are very small hope you understand because you are having uh, this much big particles but simple this particle will be made up of very 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 tiny particles all right now the second says that uh, the particles of matter has spaces between them if you are having this so they definitely have some kind of spaces between them then the third says then what the third, third says let us see okay now the third says that the particles of the matters are constant uh, consistently moving all right so they are moving they are, they are not at rest the particles are not at rest and the particles of the matters attract each other you are saying you are uh, came here after watching the physics of mine hope you understand there were the two part uh, two of the bodies they even though attract each other what could be the particle will do all right simple huh? so what are the t- uh, four pa- particles to particles are very small made up of very small uh, matter they have the spaces between them they are con- uh, constantly moving and they attract each other all right now what are the f- fourth question here uh this video is going to be quite long 
so don't be just seeing the video as this much long don't leave the video as between i request you all if you understanding each of the question that are present in the worksheet that will definitely help on you as reading your chapter and understanding your notebook work so please don't leave the video or pause or just go to the end e learn each of the question by me whatever i am just telling you and these notes if you are not able to read over here i'll make the short video for these notes and will be posted on my youtube channel and that is 3d studies so if you are not able uh, if you want to write it all right so you can get from there and if you want to understand the questions very easily and very quite formal matter so you can join this video okay let us see the fourth question write down the properties of solids what are the properties of solids simple solids have the fixed shape and the fixed volumes as we are uh, knowing about solids very easily solids can't be compressed much it can be if you're having the sponge it can compress easily but if you're having the solid figure it cannot even the box even the your mobile phone are the solid figures example they can be compressed easily no the answer will come definitely be there no now the third is solids have high density simple solids do not fill their contains completely and solids do not flow simple these are the things which you are knowing that cannot be yet to be explained all right now the philips are there fill in the blanks uh, what are the general general name of rigid form of matter rigid form of matter which cannot be broken as we have seen the properties same properties will goes to the rigid form of matter and it refers to your as solid then you have fluid simple liquid and gases and then you have out of solid liquid and gases which or uh, one has maximum movement of particle very very important put a star on it star is very bad huh? okay yeah put a star over here listen maximum movement of particles gases all right then we have the maximum intermolecular forces of attraction that is your solid and minimum spaces between particles solid when the so, when the solid solids have very minimum spaces between them maximum intermolecular forces are there in solid but the maximum movements of the particles can be had in the gas simple and easy now you have which of the two diffuses as we have discussed about the diffuses what was that the mixing of the substance with another substance and it produces some kind of motion for the particles and it's a simple name to as your diffusion so which of the following diffusion F uh, diffuses faster a liquid or the gas simple gas will diffuse faster even though ga gas have very very um, intermolecular spaces okay now question number 8 says give one example so the diffusion of the solid is in uh, is another solid that is your chalk and blackboard they have uh, they have the diffusion for the solids all right okay now you have question number 9 over here so let us see what is uh, give two reasons what two reasons will be there to justify that an iron almira you are having the almira at your home that only we are talking about all right so discuss we need to discuss and we need to justify the answer that an iron almira is a solid or not simple and an iron almira is a solid because it is a fixed it is not a, uh, yeah it is a rigid surface it's having the structure for the rigid and it does not flow and the properties we have read about the solid that it is it is a uh, it cannot compressed mud it does it have the high densities that can also be written over here now worksheet number 2 So I hope so you understand till worksheet number one, and this video will little be big. So I'm just ending over here. I'll be back with worksheet number two on the next upcoming videos, and by this series of worksheet for the following chapter of matter in a surrounding. How much total worksheet I'll have? Uh, let me discuss with you all. Total number of worksheets we have that is worksheet number ten. From one to ten, we have total number of worksheet. Today we have discussed a lot and very easiest form of worksheet number one. And uh, for the upcoming series for the worksheet for your chapter matter in a surrounding will be coming one by one. So hope so you enjoy the video. And if you enjoy the video. 
please like the video don't uh, forget to subscribe the channel and share to your friends and also i want you from you all to comment in the uh, write something in the comment section so i hope so you understand something all right and i'll be back with upcoming series for worksheet so wait for the worksheet and thank you and bye bye